Hi everyone, it's Vicki. Welcome to my channel. Today I have a wantable box. So let's see what's in it. Uh, I got an accessory. I've never received one from Wantable before. And I'm not sure, am I supposed to send this back if I, even if I keep what's inside? Obviously I send it back if I didn't keep it, but I'm not quite sure what the protocol is for when they send little suede packages. <laughs> um, oh, it's earrings, okay. I have taken everything out to get it out of the paper, so, but I haven't looked closely. Okay, it's earrings that have like, what I call the Christmas star. I don't know what the real name for that kind of star is. Tell me if you, below if you know. Oh, they're cute, they're little. I don't usually wear earrings quite this little, but they do intrigue me and I do think they're pretty, so we'll see. That's the first item. Next we have shirts here. This one is by, who's this by? Oh yeah, Lucky Brand. I don't know if you can read that in there because it's printed in the shirt in a size 2x I like it it's not ivory it's more of that oatmeal color and then it has white in the heathering is that what it's called I don't know if you can tell so I think this one will be okay even though I you know you normally prefer white but this would be a little bit better maybe for covering up but not getting as dirty I do like this and it's soft and I do have some Lucky Brand t-shirts that I really like. So I know that seems like a lot of money for a t-shirt, but um, I've had some pretty good luck with Lucky Brand. So next item is by Lucky Brand as well. This one actually has a tag and isn't just a printed. It's a color I like, navy blue. It's got this yoke and in the back it has the same design going down. Um, oh, that t-shirt. You know, let me back up and look at the fabric. I'm pretty sure it's cotton. Okay, still 100% cotton. Yes, very cute. It, the neck might be high. It is a crew neck, but we'll see how high it is. This one has a bit of a V, so I prefer that. Uh, it's got a, I don't know if it's a, probably a three-quarter sleeve. Navy, very cottony feeling. This feels like a printed cotton right there. A little bit of a star design on the body. This looks small to me. I don't know that it is, but it looks that way. It comes with an extra button. And it is also made in India, which is Lucky Brand too, so that makes sense. It'd be made in the same place. Uh, I don't know what the fabric is, actually. Finally, <laughs> it is 100% cotton. Maybe it doesn't look small. I don't know. It kind of does, kind of doesn't. Oh, you know what? I think it's a little longer in the back. Can you see that in the hemline there? I think it's a little bit longer. So I think it's a little bit behind low. All right. Ooh, that tag made a lot of noise. All right, next is something completely sheer. Can you see me? Because I can certainly see the camera. Uh, beautiful colors and design. I like that part of it. It <laughs> almost, you know, but you definitely have to wear another shirt with this. And it is by Cut From The Cloth. I think it's beautiful. And it's got the tab sleeves. But it is definitely some kind of polyester that you wear over something else. And something else. It is 100% polyester. Too bad it's not in something where you don't have to wear something else under it. But it is pretty. I do like it. Beautiful pattern and colors. Okay, so next one. Ooh, I think I'm going to like this. Oh yeah, it's a v-neck tee, which is my favorite. Oh, it looks short though. And it has short sleeves. The arms look pretty small, but I'll give it a try. And this is by Basics. I don't know, I'm not familiar with this tag. Maybe you are. And it is blue and white, navy and white. I like that. Can you hear that? It's an ice cream man. <laughs> $48. Wait, I gotta go chase him down. Just kidding. So, okay, basics by Adrift. Now I read the tag again. Yep, basics by Adrift. So, I kind of like that. How much did I say it was? $48. Seems a little high, but it feels really well made. It's not a thin cotton, so I'm hoping it's something that doesn't like uh, cling to rolls and bumps and stuff. Ooh, denim by Vigos. I, I don't know if you can see that. Probably not. Um, 
black denim by Vygos. I did want some black denim. Uh, oh, and they're a boot cut. I like that. And these are really black black denim. I like these. I hope these fit. Very nice. Uh, I don't know. I have the feeling they're going to be too tight in the upper legs, but I'm going to try them on. You know what? I'm going to check the stretch out here a little bit. Yeah, I don't think they're going to fit, but I am anxious to try them on. They need more than just size 20. They need size 20 like A, B, and C. One for big legs, one for a big waist, one for big booty, whatever your thing is. <laughs> Because not all size 20s are exactly the same. But last item. This box has a lot in it, doesn't it? Is a dress. Yes. Okay. This is a what I would call a very casual dress. Not anything I would probably wear to work. Kind of a, a t-shirt-ish material. A little, maybe a tiny bit heavier than a t-shirt. Not even as, as heavy as the um, navy and white stripe t-shirt. And this is by Michael Studio which I believe is Michael Kors. I could be wrong. But one thing about it, I love the color. It's got a cute um, knot there. If it fits, I would suspect it would be flattering. Yes, I do like that. I like the print and the colors, and I like a lot of things about it, and I think it's an okay coral. You know, I don't think it's too muted. It's a little bit of the muted, but it's not really muddy, for lack of a better word. So I'm anxious to try that on. So just to give you a recap, all my items, <laughs> I feel like we're talking so fast, I had to take a big sigh. Uh, all of my items total $391. If I were to get the discount, let's see what the discount is for. I don't think I have to have all five for the discount. I mean, I don't think I have to buy the whole box for the discount. I think you have to have five, three, four, five, six. I think you have to have five out of the seven items. And it's $78.20 plus a $20 styling fee would be refunded. So if I wanted the whole box, it would be $292.80. So let's go try these on. Okay, so this is the Michael Studios Fit and Flare in coral. I like the color, I like the design. Um, how much is this one? $69. Um, there's a lot I like about this dress. It fits to a T. In fact, if it was, you know, a quarter inch bigger everywhere, I'd probably feel a little safer. <laughs> but um, it's got this. A little bow detail that creates a little something that hides a little something up in here. Um, I like many parts about it. Did you get a, the length? Do you see the length? But overall, I have some resistance to this item. It, the fabric, feels a bit. Um, lesser expensive. For one thing, the pattern is all printed on. You can feel it. It's not a woven. It's all printed on here. You can really feel it. So that makes me, whoops, won't flash anybody. So that makes, because it's printed on the fabric, the design is printed on the fabric, i concerned that as you wash it, you'll lose parts of it. Uh, it really feels pretty much like a t-shirt fabric. I'm trying to think, is it any heavier than a t-shirt? Um, barely. I don't know, it feels more like a beach cover-up than a dress to me. So, and I don't need another beach cover-up, so I don't think this one's going to work for me. Plus, it's got some sort of itch over here. I don't know if it's from the design or the seams, but I don't know. It's not, it's not that comfortable right in here. Okay, so I have on the jeans and the top, some cut from the cloth, the Vygos jeans and the cut from the cloth top. And these are the black um, boot cut. And you know, I almost didn't try them on for you because when I was pulling up, they just seemed really tight and I didn't want to pull them. But then I felt them and I was like, okay, they're stretchy. So then I just put the other leg in anyway and pulled it up and 
they're actually pretty fine. They're, you know, tight fit here, but, you know, <laughs> a lot of people like a tight fit in jeans, what they call it, they holds them in. Not so much up here for me, but for down here for me. So this is the jeans. They do kind of droop down in the back, so if they stretch, then I'll be wearing them low riders. That's them in the back. Uh, the top is very sheer. Um, I'm wearing a pink bra, so it's kind of camouflaged. And it is just a poly top. It's a very, very pretty design and color. I like that about it. Um, but it's not anything special, kind of. Um, uh, poly, in fact, it's the kind that usually gets pretty snagged up, and so I have purchased a couple things in this type of feeling poly. It's a little bit rough, um, and I've always been disappointed after wearing them once or twice or washing them once or twice. They just get snags and pulls and stuff, and it just feels like that. Plus, these have these tabbed roll-up sleeves, which just in walking from my bedroom in here, I had to redo a couple times, so... Yeah, I don't, I don't think this shirt is for me, but I do think it's pretty. So this is the Relaxed Tee in White Stripe by Adrift for $48 that I had really high hopes for again. Um, <clears throat> a little short in the front. I like them to come to here. And this is definitely a couple, two, three inches too short to my taste. I don't mind that they're shorter in the back, but I do like this in case I have the crotch droop. Like I have just a tiny bit of it with these jeans, but I don't know, after I wear them a while, <laughs> who knows? So, but more important, the arms don't really fit. They're snug. They're, they're, they're tight, they're snug, somewhere in there. And uh, they're longer than I like. If this was just, yeah, anyway, uh, it doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good and I feel like the seam is off here and here. You ever feel like something like it's on kind of cattywampus? That's how this shirt feels, so. It's cute. I mean, look at it. It's got a nice v-neck and navy and white, but uh, it's not made for me. It's not made for my arms and, and my body. So let's go try on another one that might be made for me. Okay, so this is the Lucky Brand All Over Floral Tea for $39, and this is the one I had high hopes for when I took it out. I really liked it, but it's a pretty thin t-shirt. So it really shows lumps and bumps. So mm, it also, I, I could live with this neckline because it's not, it doesn't feel like it's touching, although I prefer it be, but it's okay. I have some Lucky Brand things that I really like. And then I've had some Lucky Brand things that there's no way. So Lucky Brand has always been a real hit and miss with me. It's almost like love it, hate it. Very little in the middle for me. Um, I think the best t-shirts I've ever gotten were Love and Legends because they're just a little bit thicker so they don't necessarily cling in the wrong places. But this is, has a nice long length. That is nice about it, if you like that. And the pattern is very cute. Very, very cute. So I wish it was not quite as clingy. Um, you know, I can pull it up a little and make it a little blousier, but in the end, I don't think it's right for me. Last top. <laughs> okay, camera quit moving. Okay, last top, and it is the Lucky Brand again. Uh, the Bandana Print Hensley in Navy Multi for $59. Now, there's quite a few things I like about this top. It feels really good. And forgive me for wearing navy with black jeans. These are just the Vigos ones I tried on. I'm going to leave them on a little bit to see how if they stretch and pull down. Um, it's uh, colors that I like. It's got the, it's navy. I like that. It's got a v-neck that I like. It's got cute little button details. I think I'm just not wild about Southwest styles and color combinations. I think I've discovered that more recently in uh, style boxes. But I mean, some people pull it off so well. I like it on other people. I just not comfortable wearing it myself. But plus, I think $59 might be a little steep for this. But I do appreciate that um, Wantable sent me a box almost completely cotton. Almost. They did an excellent job of listening. I have to say that about them. Plus some of the items I picked out myself. But I couldn't always tell what they exactly were made out of. A 
I shouldn't say I picked them out. You know, you just click the stream, stream of what you like and don't like. So anyway, last item. Oh, it's not really the last item because I have the earrings. Um, but I think I held those up previously. So anyway, let me get these clothes off. I'm going to, maybe I wear the jeans around for another 15 minutes or so. I really like where the pockets hit though, back here. They hit right here. I don't like when they hit down here. I don't like when they hit up here. This is a nice pocket placement. Does that make sense to anyone other than me? Okay, we are back with the what goes in the bag and what goes in the hanger portion of this video. Um, it's been a while, I think. Since, no, I did have a wantable box somewhat recently, but before that it had been a while because you have to start requesting it now. It used to be an automatic ship for me. So anyway, um, I just want to say overall I was very pleased with the box. I liked pretty much everything in this box in one way or another for sure. I think it was a good box. Um, while it didn't all work for me, I think it's a good box. So the earrings were super cute. But I just have so many pieces of jewelry that, ooh, did I just wiggle the cam camera? I'm sorry. You know, I get jewelry for Christmas, birthdays, that kind of thing. I get it when we travel. In fact, this, these earrings and stuff are all from like Grand Turk and, you know, different places we've gone on cruises. So, um, or Cozumel, maybe these are from Cozumel. But anyway, uh, so I'm going to send them back. They are very cute. I just don't need them. So these are going to go in the bag. This shirt, this t-shirt that I had such high hopes for, just didn't fit right. Um, it looked very good here with the v-neck and the color of it. I mean, I think, you know, white and navy blue combination like that is flattering to my skin tone. But um, the sleeves were too tight in the upper arms and then they came down, they were awfully long. And it really is a very, very well-made t-shirt. It's um, heavy a little bit heavier than the average it's not heavy though i mean it's still a light material but um yeah it's it's very nicely made and i, I just felt hot with it having sleeves that long i you know up here i'd have been happier with it but anyway it doesn't anything that doesn't fit i guess really i shouldn't even, i should just zip my mouth because it doesn't work if it doesn't fit this love the color love the floral print. I think it's beautiful. Uh, hated the fabric. I mean, that's what it really boiled down to. And I'm telling you, um, I know that Michael Studio is uh, a bit of a higher end, um, I don't know if I call it luxury brand, but a bit of a higher end brand. But this shirt at $69, is it? No, $68. I'm telling you, this is a $25 shirt. In my opinion, it's, I think it's not, no, in the bag. Next was this t-shirt, which I love this t-shirt, but the fabric is just too light for me. It shows too much, too, it shows everything, and I don't know, and uh, I don't know, I don't know what to say other than it didn't work for me. I like the t-shirt, but it didn't work for me, so it too is going in the bag. I really like it. I wish it had looked a little better on me. Then there's this one. A friend of mine saw this one and said, uh, the day my box came in, and she really liked it. But I just, it felt good. It fit good. It's just the aesthetic of it, I just didn't really care for. So it's going in the bag. Next is the dress. Now, the dress was a good fit. It's the opposite. But I just feel, again, who's this one by? This is another one by Michael Studio. Oh, the first one. The one, the the top that I said, what the polyester top, um, that I said I didn't think was worth sixty eight. I thought it was worth twenty five. Is not Michael Studio. If I said that, it is cut from the cloth. This one is Michael Studio. Again, I don't think this dress is a sixty nine dollar dress. I don't mind paying sixty nine dollars for a dress, um, but this is more like a beach cover up. It's just not. It doesn't have the to me. It doesn't have the quality. Um, I don't know it's it's a bit on the thin side this um, fabric you know it's I think it's made with the black outline design but all the things with color are just printed on and I think when I wash it then I'm going to start losing some of that and yeah 
very nice fit, very comfortable. Uh, I could have probably been persuaded to keep it if it was like one of those things where you buy one more item, you get the discount. But um, no, I just, it to me wasn't worth what they're charging. Now, it might look more, it might look better on somebody else to where it looks worth it, but it just didn't to me. So it's going in the bag. Oh my, the bag's pretty filled up. And the last item are the Vygosh jeans. And I was able to wear them for a long enough time to be able to make a decision. They do droop down quite a bit in the back, um, which is a problem when you have a, um, what's a better word than the two words I'm coming to my mind? When you have an ample derriere. Sometimes the waistband doesn't make it all the way up to your waist. Um, sometimes you can take care of that by just doing a little seam, but actually they didn't slide down. So I was pretty happy about that. Oh look, I never noticed that's like a little V. The V looks like a little fox really. But let's see, what does it say about these? Jaeger Classic Boot Cut Jean in Black 20W by Vicos. And uh, I have wanted a pair of black jeans just like I've wanted a pair of white jeans. And I think that I am going to put these on the hanger because I think there was way, way more right with these jeans than there was wrong with these jeans. And I can see myself kind of wearing a longer top with these so I don't have to worry about that droop a little. And especially, um, not the crotch droop, but the back not quite pulling up, uh, especially since they did not fall down further when I wore them for like 15 minutes. I was afraid they might stretch and pull down like some do. These do, these jeans did not do that. Now I only had them on for 15 minutes, but I'm feeling pretty good about them. They're stretchy, but they're not total stretch like some of those denims that are almost jeggings. But anyway, so that is my one item from Wattable, and it is by my Vygosh jeans, and I'm glad to get a pair of black jeans, and these are really black. So hopefully I'll turn them inside out when I wash them, and hopefully they'll hold their color. So thanks so much for watching my channel. I really do appreciate it. I hope that you like the video and subscribe to my channel if you don't already. I really appreciate it.